Good morning, church. Uh, Alan Yarbrough, worship pastor. I just wanted to encourage you guys and thank you guys so much for participating in giving to Beautiful Feet Ministries. Um, this is Eric, the administrative pastor, and he was just telling me that they're, um, that Sunday they were really low on clothes and so that the timing was perfect and God's hand was at work. And so, so it's a huge blessing that we were able to bring all that stuff down here today. So thank you, thank you for participating in that. And um, I just wanted to introduce you to Eric, an awesome dude, works here at Beautiful Feet. And Eric, would you just tell us a little more about what you guys do? Sure, Alan. Well, thank, thank you all again for the clothing. It, it was huge. Sunday, uh, we only had about 10 bags uh, of clothing to give out. And so you guys filled up our storage room. So we all have so much to give out. We had cold weather hitting this week. And so huge blessings. We do appreciate that. Uh, this is our clothing room here. And so we give out clothing to between 100 and 140 people every Sunday. Everything from uh, toiletry kits, sleeping bags, tents. Uh, we have jeans. Or you can see our needs by looking at the walls here. You can see these are all of our skinny men. These are all of our big men. So you can see all the holes. And y'all are helping fill that need. Uh, men just, we wear out our clothes, Alan. You know, <laughs> my, my jeans, once they're, they're ruined, I throw them away. Yeah. But ladies, they, they like to re-rotate clothing every year. Yeah. So we get lots of women's clothes, as you can see. Uh, but our men's um, are just short. And even our men's size 10, 11 shoes, just holes we have. Uh, but the clothing is important. We love giving our clothes, and our, and our heart here is uh, to help the whole person. I and mean, there are physical needs. We got folks that need, you know, food. They need clothing. Uh, we have a free medical clinic, a free dental, only free dental clinic in DFW that we know of. Awesome. Free tooth extractions. So if you know someone, y'all can send them our way. Um, we have counseling. We have a men's and a women's discipleship home, and we do meals seven days a week. That's awesome. Uh, we're open Christmas Day. We're open Thanksgiving Day. Uh, we want to love the homeless where they're at. Yeah. Uh, the great challenge with this is, though, is that the, the physical needs are important, but they're not the most important thing. Yeah. And so we looked at it as a funnel. There's a funnel here, and you have things such as addiction or people just feeling betrayed or lonely, um, alcohol, abuse, mental issues. We, we, try to, we don't want to fix all this because the underlying issue, the bottom of this, is Jesus Christ. Yeah. And until we fix this, none of this here is going to change. And we can't work on Jesus' items. So we use the physical items to bring people here so they can hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. So we know faith comes through hearing and hearing the words of Jesus Christ. And so we know that by faith, their lives can be transformed through the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Through God just come in and transform them and making them more like Him. Mm -hmm. And so that's our mission. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is one step of that. Hey, people are going to come to get clothing, but they don't know what they're going to set up to hear the gospel <laughs> and to get ministered to, to the heart and the soul. That's so, awesome. Thank you all. Do you mind showing us the medical clinic? Of course. Let's go right here. That's our medical clinic. It's open on Wednesdays. This is amazing. So, so the first time I came here, this was the dining room. Yes, this is the dining room. This yeah. was Mike's office right here. Mom was next door. Yeah. And rat infested, no air conditioning, no heat. Wow. So this dining hall was cold and it was hot. It was, it was, yeah. it was, it was rough. This is so amazing. So this is one of our exam rooms here. And it's all volunteers. We volunteer nurses, volunteer doctors. They come at lunch break on a day off. And they come and serve the homeless, which is really cool. Wow. Uh, it's not costing the, the county money either. There's, uh, That's really cool. It's all just people with a, a big heart. Yeah. So how many doctors and nurses and stuff like we that? We've got right? probably 8 to 12 nurses to rotate uh -huh. and for more doctors to come. Wow. And they'll come once a week. They'll each take turns <laughs> once a month, twice a month coming. That's cool. Um, Dr. Capper's been doing this for, for years and he's kind of wow. taking the charge on it. And wow. it's a wonderful job. That is awesome. And then our dental clinic. This is all pressure room. Right? We have our dental clinic here. And we'll see between 15 and 20 patients every week. This is amazing, man. So, all brand new. We have four workstations, sterilization. These are, a lot of these are dentists that will take a day off to come here to serve. Wow. And so right now we're only doing tooth extractions. We hope to do um, denture work and uh, fillings in the future once we get all the equipment up to code and have to get a permit for all that. 
but we're able to meet that need and get folks out of pain. Yeah, awesome. And so the clinic will see anybody in need. So those who are homeless get seen first. Uh, those in our neighborhood here will get seen second. Mm -hmm. Any spots left, we're going to have eight or ten spots every week open. We'll see anybody. No matter what city, state, or country you're from, if you need help, you're in pain, we'll try to get you out of pain. Wow. So really, really cool clinic. That is so and cool. And God provided the money for this, all this. It's all paid for cash, no wow. no government money, uh, yeah. just donations, people like you and me just giving. And, cool. Uh, you know, being to God. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. That's how, you know, we're called to be the body. Yep. Everybody yep. gives a little and it exactly, exactly. creates a lot. That's so cool. But this is sterilization, workroom, and more awesome. stations. Sweet, man. Yeah. So, yeah. I, mean, I go, to, go to, I visit churches on my day off or whatever, and go in like, well, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Doing great. How are you, brother? All doing good. Yeah. But in fact, people are like, well, man, I'm struggling marriage or yeah. life is hard or I've got an addiction issue or yeah. my, my kid is flunking out of college. Yeah. We, we put this facade on as Christian it's perfect yep. instead of this you come here you tell me people come to altar for prayer, what's wrong? Man I shot meth up ten minutes ago and I regret it. I know God's gone more than that. And and they're just raw. Yeah. You know, like you have yeah. meth all you're on now they go, yeah, give it to me. Yeah. If you're real about your drug issue, give it to me. That's yeah. And so it's just a different that's cool. It's a different I love that. Yeah it's it's something else. That we were, I was talking with the worship team after that um, Saturday and Sunday we were here, and it was exactly that. Like I love just the the authenticity and the you know just the realness of people that sadly sometimes you don't get in the church. We don't. And I think so, and it's, each church is different. Each person is different. And I think yeah. it's something the church. I think the church is changing, shifting to be more real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, and that's something that this ministry, because of that, this ministry was formed a lot because the church didn't feel comfortable having homeless there. Yeah. And so they found us a building here where we feel comfortable in our homelessness. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so how old is this building? This is Calvary Baptist Church, built 1929. 1929. Mm -hmm. Wow. We had electrical, uh, added AC and heat to it. There wasn't heat when I first came here. Or, wow. There wasn't AC. I mean, it was hot. Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> we had chicken fans running. <laughs> it's open air, so all those are vents, so hot air just comes in, oh. and cold air does right now. Uh, huh. But yeah, we can seat about 200 people, and most Sundays we have between 150 and 200 people here. Wow, that's and, awesome. Uh, we'll, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, Clothing-wise, we'll see about five to 6,000 people a year in clothing. Wow. We served 140,000 meals last year. Wow. So y'all so meals, meals, meals every day? We do. We're only closed, like, we're closed the day after Christmas, New Year's Day, 4th of July, and Day of Thanksgiving. Wow. And you know, like Memorial Day and Veterans Day. So we're only closed six days a year. Wow. We're open Christmas Day, open Thanksgiving Day, serving meals here. Serve breakfast at nine. And yep. Lunch. Most of the shelters, folks have to go in for dinner, and so we don't do dinner. Okay. We're not going to rewrite the, re yeah. the wheel. They do that, so we're going to help cool. with uh, the need in the morning. Nice. And so we're breakfast and lunch. And nice. in the summers, we have mission teams to come up, and we'll do a VBS for the kids yeah. all summer long. Yeah. So we'll bring in, last, last summer, our biggest VBS we had. 50 inner city kids. Wow. And they're almost between 25 and 35. Wow. And we used to go pick them up on a bus at the top six different neighborhoods in the area and yeah. just bring them over. Uh, huh. About the projects, our main, main spot. Wow. And we have an inner city youth uh, group and children's ministry on Sundays and Wednesdays. Cool. So we still measure these kids all throughout the year. Yeah. Just trying to reach them. Many of them will, will be, you know, have kids when they're young or be yeah. in prison. Wow. It's just us. Uh, it's inner city mentality. Yeah. It's trying to like Christ and his love, you know. Yeah. Just That's cool. take over. Well, I'm really excited about partnering with you guys, and I'm yeah, excited exactly to does. see what God has in store, and um, just how, you know, how we as a church at FBC Justin can can plug in here and just love on people, and most importantly, share the love of Christ. Exactly. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all so, about. Faith um, comes to hearing. Yep. Every promise comes my way. All right, hey y'all. Um, I just want to introduce you to Mike Myers. He is the head pastor, director here. Um, he's he's the big toe on the foot here. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, Mike, would you share with the church and just yes. kind of share about your heart and vision and what God's yes. doing here? Hey y'all, good to have y'all. A few weeks ago, y'all coming over here and being a part of Beautiful Feet. 
great place to fish for men and be on the turf for meeting physical needs and, and preaching the good news of Christ. Started out for us uh, in the water gardens in the early 80s where we saw a bunch of people sleeping out in the gardens and we took them donuts and coffee and we started having a Bible study with them and then all of a sudden, boom, it, it caught on. And so every Sunday before we went to our churches, we would just go out there and have uh, donuts and coffee and started preaching the gospel. And before you know it, we were seeing a lot of folks and we decided to uh, put people in our vehicles and take them to our churches. And then all of a sudden, oh, little did we know, people were going to get saved and come to Christ. <laughs> what do we do with them? And so we started wondering, what are we going to do with these people? Well, we're going to treat them like we would our own family, right? They're supposed yeah. to be family members. There you go. So we started... Uh, we started becoming part of their family and they become part of us and Christ was in the midst of it and you know years later now there's medical there's dental there's a daily ministry here chapel services food clothing and it takes all of us to pull this off and so thanks for being part of that fabric of the feet so to speak that yeah. you guys can be a part of it and you know, your oh, worship, uh, it looks better over here at the feet. I might just say, if uh, anytime you want to loan him out, I know where he needs to be. But we want to feed a tithe all of y'all because, you know, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. And that's what we're about. We're about mm -hmm. bringing good news of the gospel of Christ to people. And you know what? Everybody can be a part of it. And so get your serve on. Come see us here at the feet. Yeah. Thank it's you an awesome much. ministry. I'm yours, I am Alright, so we're outside Beautiful Feet here, and this is the original building that was built in 1929 that, uh, that Beautiful Feet received. Over here across the street, you can see buses. They go out and they pick up the homeless uh, for different events and for meals and all that, and so they'll go out and run the buses all around the city. This tan building here, this is the bunkhouse, so when people come in on mission trips, um, there's a big room down at the bottom and then different bunk rooms up top. And so people can stay over there. This is actually the men's home that for men who are uh, getting out of addiction, whatever they're dealing with, there's a vetting process. And then Beautiful Feet owns this house here for the guys. And then you can see behind all these picnic tables and a nice big playground and all that. And that is where during the summer they'll do VBS events and just different events to bring in the community here around Beautiful Feet. So. Um, awesome ministry, awesome opportunity to serve and love those around us.